Learning through play. That's partly how the Council of Europe is putting across the message that the internet can be a place for good or bad. It's using its highly successful Through the Wild Web Woods computer game to help youngsters act more responsibly online. Now there's also a guide to help teachers help children. It will be the youth who are taking control over the internet and if they aren't knowledgeable on how to utilize it and how to prevent um, themselves from coming into danger, then we're going to have a lot of issues. The Council's Teacher Guide, launched on Safer Internet Day, is available in six new European languages. We must make sure that users and children and teenagers in particular are aware of the risks of the internet so that they can use it with freedom and responsibility. But they have to know how to protect themselves. For example, by managing their online identity carefully and by assessing the possible consequences of publishing their personal information online. Some countries have already taken steps to make the internet a safer place for young people to surf, play, learn and communicate. In the early 2000s, Russia suddenly emerged as the world's second largest producer of child abuse images. And uh, it came down to, actually, when we looked into it, only about two or three different networks that were responsible. Finally, the Russian government decided to act and they pulled the plug on them. And overnight, Russia d disappeared from the league table of child pornographic publishers. Now, that's an example of a government that was clearly determined to solve the problem. And we just wish more governments took the same view. The Council of Europe is pressing on with plans for further measures to help keep online child safety near the top of the internet agenda of its 47 member states. And it's determined to see that more is done at every level. We must cooperate with the industry and the civil society to create standards and guidelines that will further protect internet users. We must make sure that users and children and teenagers in particular are aware of the risks of the internet so that they can use it with freedom and responsibility. So, the humble through the Wild Web Woods game, played by more than two and a half million people across Europe and translated into 24 languages, is proof, if it were needed, that the safer internet message is getting through, although there's more to be done to keep all Europe's children out of harm's way online.